so welcome back guys uh gonna be a couple video day today i think i just got a bunch rolling around on my mind so i seen something the other day that took me back to another story that's a, that's always been in my mind and just it disappointed me in humanity And I think that, by and large, in certain areas, there's changes needed. And I'm not talking like, okay, I'll just tell you what happened. So, good grief, this would have been very shortly after I met my wife. Very shortly. I was at my local Walmart. I was doing just, you know, normal grocery run type stuff. And something, this is going to sound weird. I don't mean nothing by it. But something that's weird is if when I was in my early to mid-20s, a lot, I, I've always looked young for my age. So, when I was in my early to mid-twenties, I had a bunch of younger women interested in me. However, those same younger women, if I just would have looked the way I looked at that age, they wouldn't have been interested in me because when I was 16, I looked like I was 12. Matter of fact, there was one time I was doing some side work for an older friend of mine. Guy was an established businessman. He had his hands into a lot of things. Uh, RV sales, uh, did some farm sales. So he'd do like uh, tractor equipment and farm supply sales. Very nice guy. Very financially stable. <laughs> but anyway... Um, One time when I was 20, I was doing some odd jobs around his properties for him, and he had a daughter. <clears throat> and her and I, she's helping me do this work. He was having her work with the, uh, the guys that he had hired to, to do this work. So we're out there busting our tails and sweating and carrying on. It was pitching hay. And so we're out there doing this, and we always got talking and just carrying on, having, you know, having as much fun as you can have while you're working in 100-degree heat throwing hay bales. Well, <clears throat> I forget exactly what was said, but one time, you know, we should go hang out and get ice cream or go to a movie or something. One of us said that. And yeah, that'd be, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. You know, we, we could enjoy that. And she, I found out, after the fact, she was like 14, didn't look it, and at the same time, I was 20, didn't look it. I thought she would have been like a senior in high school, and she probably thought I would have been a, a sophomore or a junior in high school. So, just to give you an idea, like, typically when I was in my early to mid-20s, younger women did in fact come after me but anyway going back to the story that I was telling I'm at this Walmart just doing my grocery shopping and there's this family uh, mother and two of her kids doing their shopping and the only reason that I noticed them is they were like we ended up in each, in each other's way somehow, like they were between me and what I was after, vice versa, something like that. Well, so while we do the I'm going to shuffle this way, you go that way thing, she had a daughter that would have been in her late teens, I'd say. And the whole time that we're figuring out who's going to go which way and trying to be socially nice and all that. Her daughter is wearing like a 
low rise shorts and a tummy shirt that's showing off her stomach and the whole time we're standing there her daughter is just like pulling her pants up pulling her shirt down pulling her pants up pulling her shirt down to try to cover her midriff <clears throat> and I don't know why but that was really upsetting to me because it was like her attempt to conform to societal norms and the hypersexualization of women was clashing head on in her mind and in her actions with her desire for a little bit of modesty and it it just it's something that stuck with me and I wish that women not just you know like singular and you know small groups but by and large not only wouldn't uh continually be exposed to pressure to bear more skin and dress provocatively or leave less and less to the imagination of men and young boys but that clothing manufacturers would accommodate that it's becoming increasingly difficult for girls to buy modest clothing it seems and it drives me up a wall um I've got one teenage girl in the house now this is kind of weird because she is in the bottom percentages for height and weight for her age so she wears clothes that are way smaller than most of her classmates and so it's actually easier for her to get more fuller cut clothes just due to her sizes that she wears but you know we still have to set like okay you can't wear shorts that short outside the house because she she's still grown and so she fits clothes that she wore a couple years ago but she's gotten a lot taller and so those shorts have gotten shorter and so hey you know you can wear that running around here or running around outside the play but if we go somewhere you're gonna have to change I know and that's fine but I just it just goes all over me how <clears throat> society has hypersexualized everybody including at a young age you know if you're a grown adult that's buying your own clothes well I might disagree with it you can dress however you want but if you're a teenage girl buying clothes on your parents dollar and you can't find anything that's halfway modest I have a problem with that so anyway that's kind of what I got for today I think I'm done it's just something that was that just always ate at me and she looked embarrassed at how her clothing wouldn't cover her as much as she wanted it to so i don't know and the world spins madly on thanks for tuning in guys catch y'all next time